What's up everyone? It's Kelly and today I've got another Swatch and Review for you. So today we are talking about the somewhat controversial Futurism collection, which is from Orly for winter 2022. Before we dive into the details, if you haven't heard of Orly before, they are a mainstream salon nail polish brand and all of their products are vegan, meaning they do not use any animal derived ingredients. They're cruelty free, meaning they do not test their products on animals. And they're also listed as being formulated without harmful ingredients. So we've got six new polishes to go over today and all of them are these like super futuristic chrome metallic kind of polishes. And let me tell you, this is a little bit of a controversial color story. I think the main thing is that we are not looking at your typical holiday colors. But here's the thing. Orly actually does have a second nail polish line called the Orly Breathable line and they do an in-between season collection for every in-between season. And for their fall winter collection, which was called In the Spirit, they actually already did all of the traditional holiday colors. So I personally was very excited to see this. I was really hoping not to get a repeat of the same kind of colors just in the regular Orly formula. So I was honestly very excited to see that they decided to do something funky and different. And if you watch my reviews, you probably already know this, but I absolutely love when brands step outside of the box and get a little weird with it. So let me show you the swatches and we'll see if they're actually any good. Then we'll talk a little bit more about pricing, availability, and my thoughts, even though I did kind of just spoil my thoughts on the color story. So roll the footage. So as with all of my swatch and review videos, I am using Base Coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and prevent any stains. Today, I am using the Orly Bonder Base Coat. So we'll start off with the shade Industrial Playground, and this is actually kind of a difficult color to describe. At first glance, it looks on the silvery side, but but when you inspect it a little bit closer, it has this really intense blue toned purple shimmer running throughout. So it's almost like this metallic, soft, cool toned purple. And I thought this was a really unique shade, but also pretty perfect for winter, just because to me, it really represents those gray cloudy days, but with a little pop of brightness in that shimmer. I honestly thought it looked good in two coats in real life, but on camera, it looked a tiny bit sheer. So I ended up going in with a third coat and I thought that looked really gorgeous as well. Now this one does have a little bit of that pearlized shimmer to it. So on your final coat, you want to be careful with brush strokes so that there's no weird lines on your nails. You can see if you apply it carefully, it doesn't really look streaky at all. I also wanted to try this one with a matte top coat. I actually mattified all of the polishes in this collection just out of curiosity. And I have to tell you, I am 100% obsessed with how they look mattified. Very futuristic, very cool, almost like a velvety kind of feel to them. Next up, we have the shade Forward Momentum. And this one is another purpley metallic shimmer, but this one is a little bit on the warmer side. And what's interesting about this one is looking at it closely, you can actually see these slightly larger purple metallic flecks running throughout. So you can see those little specks on my nail that are catching the light. Those are just this gorgeous purple metallic. So I thought that was a really interesting touch to add in here. It really adds to the metallic vibe and it also makes it lose any of that pearliness that you might get. So if you're not a fan of brush strokey polishes, this is a great option for you. Of course, I had to mattify it as well, and no surprise, it looked super cool, especially with those little metallic flecks in there. They just caught the light and looked so cool on the nails. Moving on, we have the shade Dynamism, and I have to tell you, I thought that this was going to be the most boring shade in the collection when I saw it in the bottle, but on the nail, surprisingly, this ended up actually being my favorite out of all of them. It's sort of this medium to light brown base, and then we have this intense pinky purple shimmer running throughout. And I don't know, there's just something very cool about this color combination. I personally love a streaky polish. So again, you want to go in with that second coat pretty carefully to make sure that it looks nice and smooth. And when I put matte top coat on this, I absolutely fell in love. It's definitely not your typical winter or holiday color. But the first thing I thought of was this would be so cute to do little gingerbread cookie nail art because I don't know, it's like giving me cake 
unique texture for some weird reason. <laughs> Next up, we have the shade Urban Landscape, and this one is a really beautiful, softer green base with a really intense green shimmer running throughout. And this one actually ended up being the most sheer out of the collection. I was a little disappointed in how sheer it was because I could just barely get away with three coats, but the color itself is so beautiful. So I'm definitely gonna try to figure out how to make it work. I feel like it almost seems like it would be a fairly common color, but it's pretty unique to my collection. So I might try it over black and see how that helps or maybe over like a deep foresty green to see if that gives me that gorgeous shimmery color without having to worry about the sheerness of it. So here it is mattified. Again, just super cool. It's a little bit more subtle of an effect on the matte than with the other shades, but I still think it looks really awesome. Next up, we have the shade Ascension. And this one, again, very similar to Urban Landscape in terms of the color, where we have this almost subtle grayed out version of a blue as the base, but then we have this really intense blue shimmer in there. And I believe this one also has the little metallic flex this time in blue because those caught the light and looked really beautiful. Now this one in person, I thought looked fully opaque in two coats, but again, on camera, it looked like it was a little bit sheer. So I ended up putting on a third. I think I would wear this in two coats in real life, but sometimes when you're doing these ultra close-ups, things look a little bit patchier than they do to the naked eye. But regardless, I think it's a really gorgeous color. I think this is another perfect winter shade. Honestly, all of these to me feel very wintry in that they're almost that like icy gray winter snowy kind of day. So I think these are more winter collection than holiday collection. And especially this one with the matte top coat is absolutely stunning. Imagine this with little silver snowflakes on it. Oof, I would love that. And the final shade in the collection is this one, Fluidity, and this one is a silver metallic polish. It's a little bit of a deeper, darker silver than most silver metallic polishes. And as you can see, this one was actually really sheer. I'm wondering if it maybe is meant to be a topper. I didn't actually try it as a topper in this video, but I probably should. I ended up getting full coverage in three coats, but it was definitely on the sheer side. But I thought that this one looked pretty unique compared to my other silver metallics. And I'm not exactly sure why. I feel like there's different types of glitter in here. You can almost see around the edges where my cuticles are, there's like this kind of rainbow sparkle going on in there. And I'm not sure if there's a little bit of a holographic sparkle. I'm not sure, but either way, I think it looks really cool and it really does look pretty futuristic. So very happy about this one. Here it is with the matte top coat. It actually looked pretty much the same with matte top coat, but it did lose a little bit of that rainbowy coloring. So here are all the polishes together and looking at them side by side, I actually do think that this fits perfectly as a winter collection. I love all of these sort of icy grayed out kind of colors in the winter, especially like January and February feels like this kind of time. And I also love a streaky shimmer around that time. I'm not sure why it always reminds me of snow, but I think they're really cool. I love how they look mattified. I think that's such an awesome way to wear them. And I also just think that they look a lot more intriguing on the nail than they do in the bottle. I feel like people who might find themselves disappointed in this collection should really see what it looks like on the nail before they make a decision because I think a lot of these shine and have a lot more visual interest when you're actually wearing them as a manicure. So hopefully this helps you decide a little bit easier. <laughs> so those are the Futurism polishes and I already mentioned in the beginning of the video my thoughts on the color story in general. Just saying that, you know, I appreciate that they got a little funky with it. I actually really enjoy when brands do something a little bit different from like the traditional colors. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love the traditional polishes as well. I mean, you might know this about me, but I do love nail polish in general. So it's going to be kind of hard to give me a good formula and expect me not to like it. <laughs> but I do really just like seeing something different. I like when brands try something new. And I think that Orly actually really succeeded here. The only thing that I have to say on the color story is I do think that it's a little ironic that it's a futurism collection because when I first saw these, they to me screamed 90s. And if you are are a fellow 90s baby, then maybe you can also envision it with me. But this collection to me feels like the 90s version of what we thought that the future was going to look like. So 
I actually really love it for more nostalgic reasons rather than like futuristic reasons. But I will say, I think they read a little bit more futurism on the actual nails in the bottle. Definitely like early 90s vibes. <laughs> so these polishes come in 18 milliliter bottles, which is absolutely massive. I always like to remind you, this is by far the biggest nail polish bottle that I own. For reference, OPI is 15 milliliters, SE is 13.5 milliliters. So you're actually getting a huge amount of polish for your money. They do have the rubberized caps and a wide flat brush with a rounded tip. So application and opening are both super easy. They retail on the Orly website for $10.50 USD. So I'll link that down below. They're also usually available from retailers like HB Beauty Bar and Beyond Polish. As of the filming of this video, they're not available on those websites yet, but that is because the collection is still brand new. So as soon as they put them on the website, I will link them down below. I also have discount codes, but I am so eager to hear what everybody thinks of these. I'm excited to hear if you love them, if you hate them, if you are hoping for something super traditional, or if like me, you like when things get a little weird. So leave it all in the comments. We can chat about it. Seriously, I've actually been looking forward to reading these comments, so very eager to hear if you love it or hate it. <laughs> if you enjoy my swatch and review videos, please give this one a thumbs up. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. And a huge shout out to my supporters on Patreon, my royal astronomer, Amanda M, as well as my cosmic admirals, Rocketman's daughter, Paula, Ken, and Rosie. I really appreciate your support, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Jean, and Jean wants to know, would you ever do a meet and greet? I feel like that's kind of a difficult question because my immediate answer is absolutely yes. And then my immediate thought after that is, would anybody go to that? And then my immediate thought after that is, oh my gosh, what if people went to it and I got super anxious? So... <laughs> So to sum it up, yes, I definitely would. I would be a nervous Nelly, let me tell you. I also, like in my mind, I understand that, you know, I have this great community. I love chatting with you guys in the comments, but to me, I'm just sitting alone in my room filming this. So like I, I have a hard time visualizing the fact that there are people that might potentially ever want to meet me. So like that to me, I, I like can't reconcile it in my brain. But then I think if people did show up, I would be super nervous because I think if people were ever potentially nervous to meet me, I think I would be more nervous. I've only had a few encounters in my life where fans and people in my community have met me. And let me tell you, every single time I was shaking like a little dog because I was so nervous. So that would definitely be an interesting experience. But if the opportunity ever does arise, please know that I would totally do a meet and greet. So maybe something we can organize in the future if people would ever want to do that. Could be interesting. Who knows? I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.